very special ladies who are making it all happen. Hey, Court. Absolutely. You know the mighty Ruthie Bolton. Yay. NBA super, WNBA superstar and gold medalist. And then we've got Elaine Whitefeather uh, here with us as well uh, from a Community for Peace. Correct. Thank you so much for coming <coughs> this morning, ladies. Thank okay, you. Okay, so this is really awesome. This is going to, really, this is going to change the kind of the landscape of what we're trying to do for women in the Sacramento mm -hmm. area. So, Ruthie, you're calling it Ruthie's Place. We're calling it Ruthie's we're Place. We're calling it. <laughs> yes, because, of course, it's a group effort. It's right? a group yes, it Absolutely. So Ruthie's Place, what's the idea behind Ruthie's Place? You don't take the lead? I'll take that. Okay. Ruthie's Place is a part of a social renewal, mm -hmm. economic development okay. project that we wanted to create that Ruthie helped us do, where it's a thrift store boutique. Mm -hmm. And it is run by survivors of domestic violence okay. and sexual assault. And it becomes a place for Ruthie to have her items in our store. Yes. But also we wanted to bring something to Oak Park um, so we could respond to the needs of the women in that part of the co county. Absolutely. So a Community for Peace will be opening up our South Sacramento site through Ruthie's place. And we're looking at a picture now of the proposed location. That's so, it. Uh, it's that's under renovation right now. Under renovation yes. as we speak. So yes. now what's the address? It's on Broadway. It is on Broadway and I wish I could tell I you know, exactly right? <laughs> what it is. Like, but it's look right and next zoom to in. Uh, Brick House. It yeah. is. It's across yeah. the street from Oak Park Brewery mm -hmm. and the uh, little nursery there. It's just been an, an amazing, interesting and fabulous collaboration yes. between the owner of this facility mm -hmm. and what Ruthie is um, just She's just been an angel to the women in our in our, our organization. She comes to the groups. Yes. She speaks to them and lifts them up. And it's a big deal because Ruthie, you you you've been through this. You you know yes. exactly mm -hmm. what they what they've been through as far as mm -hmm. domestic violence is concerned. And then, on the other end, being a complete woman, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I definitely. I it's very the, the relationship has been awesome. And when I go to the, uh, to Community for Peace and speak to the women, mm -hmm. you know, it's like. I said, don't put me on a pedestal. I said, I'm one of you. Yeah. And it just feels great to be able to embrace them. And also, I'm excited about Ruthie's Place because I also, I'll be able to uh, mentor girls and I'll have a place where young girls can come and, and to continue to really empower them to be, um, you know, better uh, young women. And that's the fun thing. Inside the building, you've got plans for yes. lots of different things. Yes. So There's a, the thrift store. The, the thrift store itself will probably be around 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. That's a pretty large place. But we also want to be able to do consignment items for women who create their own craft jewelry okay. and those kinds of things yeah. so they can do that. Ruthie's books and things will be there. The Community for Peace will offer services through just a, I wanted to create a relevant, a culturally relevant and sensitive way to provide our services to our black and brown ladies. Yes. Right? And so hair weaving and braid, braiding and yeah. talking about domestic violence yeah. in, a, in a calm sort of way. Yes. But the back part of it, which is really what is Ruthie's heart and mine, mm -hmm. is that we wanted to create a drop-in center for youth, right? Because we know that that our black and brown youth and our LGBT youth are being trafficked. Yes. And they're right off the blade there, yeah. not far away. Yeah. And so I wanted to create a harm reduction drop-in center for these youth mm -hmm. where they can come in off the streets and have food, have warm, uh, warm food, shower, those kinds of things. Yeah. But Ruthie then also wants to be able to offer all of these workshops yes. right there. So it'll be a really big space mm -hmm. where they can do all kinds of leadership things for girls. Mm -hmm. And the other part of it is to create businesses. I want women not to just go to work. Mm -hmm. I want them to learn to become entrepreneurs. Yes. Exactly. And to, to contribute something back to our community. So Barbara Range at the Brick House Gallery has offered us this wonderful space there so to that's do this. That's where it's tomorrow. Where it's be the fashion show, yeah. And I think she, when, when I listened to her yesterday talk about how many prayers um, black women have come together mm -hmm. to make for healing in our yes. community and ways for us to lift each other up. Mm -hmm. Ruthie Bolton aims high, and yes. we have just soared with her to do that same thing. It is so awesome to have thing. you women in our community doing this for yes. other women, and yes. we are just so grateful that you came in this morning to tell us about it. It is yeah. our honor. We're going to link all the info to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Again, the fashion show is tomorrow, but coming forward in the near future, yes. Ruthie's Place. Fall. In fall. fall. It will open in the fall, and we will bang well, back we'll here be again. There yes, you will, break, for the ribbon we'll cutting. The ribbon. Yes, you will. Excellent. <laughs> all right. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. you. Absolutely. You always all the time. As you my queen. Elaine, you Likewise. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. We're having sister power over here. Oh, yeah. I love it. Time to watch yourself. Yes. This is it. This is it. <laughs> we're out of time now. We can't have the push-up contest that oh, we're yeah, going to have. Oh, we're out of time now. He was ready. No, he was ready.